Hello, hello everybody. I'm Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in a good mood today. It's beautiful. It's sunny outside and I'm excited for you to be here for this vlog. Let me turn off my phone. Okay, I just straighten the camera. Hopefully it's a little bit better. In this vlog, I have probably one of the longer clips of my workouts ever and I finally decided to go into a little bit of detail describing what actually happens when I'm training but trust me that's only like one chunk of the vlog for those of you no one's complained about fitness content at all but don't worry I'm not turning into just a fitness vlogger I certainly have other components in my life it's just a new one that I'm adding and let me look through the footage I was sick the first half of this I was honestly recovering Got a little bit of a bug. I don't want to give anything away. Before we get into today's video, today's sponsor is one of my favorite companies as of recently, so I'm really excited that they wanted to work together because I already talked about them on the podcast. I don't know if you guys know if you don't listen to the podcast, but I'm a very big fan of CBD. When the pandemic hit, I really leaned on it for daily stress management as well as sleep. I never really had sleep issues in the past, but as I've gotten older and stress has increased in my life, of which I really, really try to manage it. CBD has been something that's been so helpful to me. And Equilibria is one of my favorite brands. Three of my favorite products that I want to show you, they are some of the highest quality CBD. The only CBD that I will take is full spectrum and Equilibria makes full spectrum CBD. Also, if you have taken CBD in the past and you don't feel it, I'm gonna go on a limb and say you probably were not taking full spectrum. There's different grades to it. Full spectrum is the highest quality of them all and it encompasses, I don't totally know the science, but it's not like watered down or diluted. I take CBD every single night and most afternoons. It's really important to be consistent with it because CBD builds up in your body. Think of it like taking a vitamin. I have little to nothing left of this. These are the daily drops. This is a tincture that you can put the CBD oil directly underneath your tongue. I don't even know if I have enough left to get like a full dose out, but you put it underneath your tongue, hold it under there as long as you can, a minute, two minutes, three minutes, if you're really good at that, it will hit you a lot quicker. And by hit you a lot quicker, I mean, you'll take it and notice, wait a second, I'm not anxious right now. I'm not stressed right now. You feel normal, you don't feel high. Now, if you want something more slow release, they have daily soft gels, and these are more like vitamins. So I will take these if I wake up with a ton of stress. My main purpose for CBD is daily stress management and sleep. I put this under my tongue every single night, and then I will take this on an as-needed basis, which don't do as I say. <laughs> they actually have a dosage specialist, so when you make a purchase, you're given a one-on-one -on -one consultation where they can go over with you how to take the product, when to take the product, and what your proper dose should be. Everyone's different. I know myself, I'm very sensitive. So I'm one of the lucky few that can take drops day one and I understand what it's like. But some people, it takes months. It'll take two or three months to actually have them feel the effects. You know your body. You can probably tell whether you have, you know, a more or less sensitive body and then the final product that i really love is their relief cream now think of this as bougie icy hot or so it's great pain relief i love it i love to bring this with me when i'm traveling i love to have this if i'm sore from a workout and i can put it on the area of my body that is sore incredible incredible and if you guys are interested you can buy just the product but if you go for the subscription you can get a 20 percent discount i'll have all the information linked down below thank you so much equilibria y'all are the best buy women for women organic products they have their farm in colorado i stand by it A different bedspread. I went back to my OG pink. I find it to be really relaxing, but also I'm pretty sure I got the flu this weekend, like a little 48 hour bug. And I'm 
recovered from it, but I just want to be like extra safe and I actually have some sick favorites. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and get them, then show them because change of season, sickness comes. I mean, of course, like be careful for COVID, but there's other sicknesses that exist simultaneously. And I also just desperately want to get up and moving and I don't think I should work out. I have a workout tomorrow. I just want to like really make sure my body's all good. I'm just trying to, you know, I want to treat this thing like gold. I'm gonna go get some health wellness drinks and it's gray and gloomy outside. It's just gonna be a cozy day. I want to give a shout out to these jeans. Redone jeans are the absolute best. I will link these down below. They still sell them. I even think they look good on the butt. They just like make long legs look good and they make short legs look long. These are the best. This is also fabulous. And these are just to be safe. So good for leftovers. This is one of my favorite restaurants. Oh, Ross. It's a plant based Ethiopian restaurant. And I got a platter, but this is gonna be so good. Well, it depends how much food is in. I mean, it's so many different vegetables. I'll open it all up so you can see. They display it on a really nice platter in the restaurant, and everything is vegetables. Lord knows, we all need vegetables. And then instead of rice, I got this sourdough bread, but it's like a spongy bread, so you use it instead of, you know, I'll use a fork or a spoon, but hypothetically, you would just unroll a piece, and then you would scoop your food and eat it like that. Oh. My god, these leggings are the greatest thing I've ever put on my body ever in my whole life, 100%. Like, if you are looking for butter, I will link these down below. These are Lululemon. They're expensive. They're worth every penny. Like, there's nothing I've ever tried like this. Technically... You're not supposed to work out in those particular Lululemon leggings. They're not designed for working out, but they're so good. Maybe they're not the best for performance, but they're, I've never tried a more comfortable legging. I did not dress for the weather, so I had to sit inside La Cologne today. Yesterday it was 80 degrees, today it's 62, and I'm an idiot.
I've never once told you the system that we use to work out because oftentimes I'll get clips for Instagram or for the blog, more or less just to show you like a little insight into my workout. But at this point, I've been doing it for so long that I figured I would let you in on what we do. So every single session for an hour, we have circuits. So there's three moves and we do those three times each. And then we move on to three more moves and do those three times each. And then depending on how much time has passed, we'll either do cardio and stretch or we'll do three more moves three times cardio and stretch. So I'm normally doing six to nine exercises throughout a session and then some sort of cardio like the bike, sprinting, which is my favorite right now, the row machine, there's a ski machine, in case you ever wanted to know. food okay let's talk food i have been so uninspired to cook for months now i understand hot girl summer we don't grocery shop in summer because we are out and about and on the town but it's fall and i am racking my brain i'm here pulled out the journal wrote down fall meals chili baked potato then i wrote pizza which is not even true so naturally what do i do i go to the new york times website because everyone knows new york times has killer recipes i eat this amazing looking slow cooker mushroom and wild rice soup what is the cook time granted it's soup so you can kind of leave it but talk about going zero to 100. i'm really good at summer foods smoothies salads I haven't added like heat to something in a while. Maybe I'm lying. I've been very into baking though lately. I will say that I baked banana bread and I also baked these pumpkin chocolate bars. Very easy. Oh my God, zucchini ricotta basil pasta. Yum. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just in the mood to go to Trader Joe's. I'm a foodie, but I'm no Maddie Bragg, okay? I wish, but I'm not. I wish Maddie Bragg cooked for me. I wish Maddie Bragg lived closer. Maddie, if you're watching this, holy shit, how do you do it? But she loves it. She loves it. You know what I mean? I don't love it. I love eating it, but mm -mm, don't love making it. But let's, like, why not tonight? It's 4 p.m. and I finished my to-do list. All my work is done. It's a great, it's cloudy outside. It's a great time to do it. But good Lord knows, I don't care. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask Tyra if she wants to get dinner. <laughs> really easy for you to make and like low stress. And I also made this seared zucchini with ricotta brown butter. And God bless her. God bless her and the fact that she had just eaten with her dad. So, a two in one. One, she told me no. Two, she gave me a solution. I had just a few pages left in this before I went to the grocery store. It's lovely. I really enjoyed it. It's a sweet book. It gets a little confusing because the narrator changes quite frequently and the past present changes quite frequently, but you can never knock a Pulitzer Prize winner, right? Groceries are here. Tyra's reheating the broccoli salad that I am about to make. I did it, guys. I'm grocery shopping and cooking. I did it with the help of Tyra. Couldn't have done it without you. You're gonna think this is the most head ass thing, but like half the things that come out of my mouth are. This dish is so flavorful. I don't think I'm able to watch TV while eating it because I'll be overstimulated. <laughs> that's how sensitive I am, but like that's also how intense the flavor profile is. I'll link the recipe down below. I actually made it my own way. I didn't really follow the recipe. But like you'll get the gist. And I'm sure the actual recipe is better. Mm -hmm. 